deadly wildfires in California continue to wreak destruction. And 600 remain missing as wildfires continue to ravage California. There are more homeless people in America today than the populations of Orlando and Reno combined. Hundreds of Honduran immigrants just crossed into Guatemala several hours ago. I don't mind having the issue of border security on my side. If we have to close down the country over border security, I actually like that. There was another suicide today that stunned so many Americans. Fashion designer Kate Spade was found dead in an apparent... Well, tonight, our hearts are heavy. New research shows suicides are on the rise. For the next 24 hours, no one could call them by their old name. They could only refer to them by the thing that they wrote down. So if they wanted deliverance, their name for the next 24 hours was delivered. If they wanted to walk in freedom, the next, for the next 24 hours, no one could call them by their other name. If God is taking me from faith to faith, at some point he's going to stop talking to the old me. He's going to start talking to the new me. We took the badges off and we put them on the ground because if we're going from faith to faith at some point I got to step into what God has said about my life and as I said I want you to stand there with that thing in front of you and when you can visualize yourself being whatever you wrote on that badge then step into it but when you step into it give God a praise
you have a work to do. You have a work to do. You owe God. You owe God. You owe. What can you give to God in comparison to what he has done for you? The blood that was shed that covered your sins. And then he sanctified you with a call on you. Then he said, I'll never leave you. I won't forsake you. I'll be with you even to the end of the earth. He said, even if you make your bed in hell. Did he not say it? At the time that he was on the cross, he was abandoned from God. He had, God had left from him. He said, God, I'm learning for because he said, I didn't come and do anything on my own. Everything that Jesus did, he did it because he said, the Father told me, and what I've seen of the Father, that shall I do. And he said, these things. So now he's sitting here, he's thirsting. He said, I'm thirsting for that relationship. I'm thirsting for your spirit. I'm thirsting for be back in communion. We need to get through this process so I can get it. Guess what, y'all? He thirsts for our salvation. He thirsts for our deliverance. He thirsts for our healing. He thirsts for my joy. He thirsts for my love. Thank God that my God thirsts. Clap your hands and say hallelujah. This is why the Bible says that we are a royal nation, that we are a royal priesthood, and we are a holy nation. He calls us priests because now we have free access to go to him. See, I know a lot of us are here tonight because our mother and our father prayed for us. And that's a good thing. We should cherish that as long as we live. But there are some things that mama and daddy can't do for you. You got to go personal to the Lord yourself. You got to get in the face of God. See, daddy can pay your rent when you're short. But when you're short in your mind, when your spirit ain't right, when your flesh is acting up, you got to go before God on your own. I want everybody to ask somebody, you convinced yet? I'm gonna move on. But ain't no need us talking about nothing else if, if you don't believe that God is good. We may as well quit. Let's close up the church. Let's dismiss the service. Let's close up your Bible. If you don't believe that God is on your side. Some of us are so twisted. We think that God <laughs> has abandoned us and left us forsaken and left us forlorn. Didn't you hear Jesus say, No, I'm with you always. You ain't got to see me for me to be with you. I work in dark places. I work behind the scenes. I work where you can't see me. And I can't I came to remind you today when you got weak, when you were leaning and thought you were gonna fall into the abyss. You're not standing because you got it together. You're standing because God got you propped up. Goodness and mercy have been following you all the days of your life. But I don't know what, as he was beating the tambourine, a phrase just dropped in my mind it said unbridled praise and, and, and I believe the Lord spoke to me and he said when, when situations get out of control in your life you got to give God an unbridled praise If the devil want to act like he's out of control, let your praise get out of control. Who will be first? Who will be first? I say, who's going to be first? Because all it takes is one praise. One praise.
at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, what you waiting on? Say, while the Lord is troubling the water, you need to get on in this water. Step in the water of praise. 